Since it's back to school at Dollar Tree, I thought I'd do a Dollar Tree win or fail. I normally do these with the toys at Dollar Tree and tell you which ones are worth spending your dollar. This time, I'm gonna do that exact same thing, but we're gonna be testing out the back to school supplies. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from The Purple Alphabet. We did a Dollar Tree shop with me where I went to three stores and showed you all of the new back to school things, which is a lot of fun. And then I also did a Dollar Tree haul. So if you wanna go see those videos after you watch this one, the links will be down below in the description and there's a ton of things in there that you're not gonna to wanna to miss because now is the best time to get all of your back to school supplies. In this video, I have a couple of things that I wanted to try out to see if they were actually worth your dollar or not. So we are testing and finding out which ones are winners and which ones failed. Let's test out the back to school items first. You might have seen in my shop with me and in my haul that I ended up with four out of the five Sharpies, the Mystic Gem series. So the Mystic Gem series is something I haven't seen before in Dollar Tree and they look to be a little bit more of a muted color. So we're gonna try these out. They're Sharpie brands. I'm pretty sure that they're going to work. I also wanted to do a price comparison on these. So I'm gonna pop up here on the screen the prices that I found at other stores or on Amazon or whatever I found just so you can get an idea because it sometimes is more beneficial to buy them if you're going to get them in like a bigger package. But if you only need one, Dollar Tree might be the best answer for you. All of these are fine point. And I think the only color I didn't get was like a darker green. And Dollar Tree did have the regular colored Sharpies. They always bring those back every back to school season. Plus sometimes you'll see them throughout the year. So we have our four here. I'm just doing a little color test for you. I already know Sharpie's a great brand. So here we have like the peachy pink. Looks good. And let's do the green. And I'm using a paper that's like a, a cardstock paper. It's pretty heavy. You use, use it for watercolor. And I have to say that they aren't as inky. Is that a word? That I thought they would be. They feel a little drier than normal. But they do work. And these are the colors that have come from each one of them. And they're light. They're not very dark and saturated. I would have loved for them to have a little bit more sheen to them, but they are very matte and they are almost see-through on some of the colors, especially that green and that blue. So they work. I'm going to give them a thumbs up because they do what they're supposed to do. I mean, they're permanent markers, right? <laughs> they aren't my favorites. I would have loved to see some sheen or some glitter to them, but they work. So thumbs up. Next up in the back to school supplies is the electric pencil sharpener. This is a new find for Dollar Tree, you guys. It came in a couple different colors. And so we are very excited to try this because this would be an absolute bargain. We got some tape here we gotta take off. Looks like we do have to add our own batteries. What do we need here? I need two, three double A's. Let me get those. All right, I was wrong. I took triple A's. So we're gonna put the triple A's in here, three of them. You can also get batteries at Dollar Tree, just in case you didn't know that. They usually have the Panasonic brand, which isn't too bad. On the other side, we have a little compartment here to collect all of our shavings. Our pencil goes on top, take out the instructions. Kinda nervous, you guys. I really, really want this to work. All right, I got a pencil that is pretty dull. So let's try it. And oh my goodness, you guys, this is a clear winner. This pencil is sharp. It totally worked. Is it gonna last? I don't know. I don't really care. It's a dollar and it's such a great compact size. I cannot believe it. This is a huge score. So big thumbs up on the electric pencil sharpener. All right, we have the Energel X pens. This came in three different colors. Of course, I ended up with the purple and we're gonna test it out here. I feel like I tested this last year. Did I test this last year? year I might have but they come back every year but last year I think they only had the purple and maybe that's all that my store had but this time they have the three different colors this is violet and it's a medium point with quick dry no smear there's a little plastic thing on top that take off first and let's try it out oh yeah you guys this totally rolls feels like a gel pen doesn't smear right away I like how it writes it's very smooth Okay, so these pens are amazing, and for a dollar, this is just great quality. So I really like these. I'm pretty sure I gave them a thumbs up before in the past. Get the whole set of colors because you're gonna be going back for more because you like them so much, and if you like writing in purple ink like I do, you'll probably want more. Big thumbs up for the Energel X pens. 
So we have two glues to try. We have the Elmer's metallic glue and then the color changing glue. So this one's supposed to turn from yellow to red in the sun. This one's just a really pretty shimmery metallic. And I've tried different Elmer's glues before and I've had really good luck with them. These are mostly, I think, made to do all kinds of pretty slime, but I'm just gonna demo them here on the paper and let them kind of dry a little bit just to kind of see how they look. So there's the metallic one. Comes out real nice and easy and here's the yellow one and we'll have to put that in the sun to check out to see how it works They both are washable and then for the red one or for the yellow one We have to add it sun for it to change color So we're gonna let these dry just for a second and then we'll come back to this to get our final result in the toy section We had some new games. The first one I want to check out is the fishing game So we do have the bigger version of this one and actually love it the name brand version This one's recommended for ages three and up and it's much much smaller So we got one two three four five six seven eight nine fish in here and I think just one fishing pole but if you wanted a smaller travel option this might work let's just check it out here all right the fish just come out there's a little magnet in their mouths and that's what I'm gonna guess attaches to the fishing pole whereas the name brand game it has um, the fish actually hold on to the fishing pole so the magnet here is right on the fishing pole and that's what you use to grab the fish. So the fishing pole bends and then it comes undone like this. So it's more like hanging. And then our little game board here, it looks like it's a wind up. So you wind this little white switch on here to make the little game board move. It's pretty loud, you guys can probably hear. I didn't put my fish in, so I'm gonna do that. So I got all the fish in and we only have one fishing pole, which is kind of sad. So if you wanna get two fishing poles, then that might be ideal to play the game if you have more than one child. And then I do like that it doesn't need a battery because that's one less thing that you have to worry about. Okay, so let's wind her up and see how we do. There she goes. And then we have to get all the fish when they open their mouths. One, two, <laughs> three. Oh my gosh, come on, green fish, go, green fish, go. Open, got him. So I got all of my green fish. So it can be very difficult to do a whole game with just one round of this um, using the spinning tool. If you wound it up and played and the next person played, that would be a good way to see how many you can get before the turntable stop. You guys, I am actually, I had no expectations for this. I thought it was going to be a fail to tell you the truth, but it's actually, it works you guys. And it works pretty decently. There are some downfalls to it, but for a dollar, that is a pretty decent game. I'm going to have to give this one a thumbs up. It actually works. Another game that we wanted to try out is Memory Flash. This is for three and older. It kind of reminds me of Simon, you guys. Remember Simon? And these are also great dexterity games, great travel games, so that's why I thought we'd try this one. And it looks like there's a little switch here on the back and it lights up. Oh, it plays music or noise too. I don't know what to do first. <laughs> Probably push the color. Oh, I got it wrong. Okay, we just jump right into this game. All right, red, red, blue. Red, blue, red. This is just like Simon. It is smaller. It kind of fits in the palm of my hand. It's actually kind of a cool little fidget toy. Now somebody did write me a note and said that theirs broke after a couple of days. I just opened mine. It's working fine. Don't know if it's going to break or not. I'm kind of, oh. <laughs> I'm kind of curious to know if it will last. The size is great. I'm still doing the same pattern. It's just kind of boring. Are they ever going to stop doing this red-blue pattern? Let me get it wrong and maybe I'll do another game. It tells you when you've gotten it wrong with a sad noise. So I'm doing the exact thing. Oh, there's another one. I have to give this a thumbs up because it actually works. I do love my Simon. Simon comes in different modes of play and there's all kinds of things you can do with it. But for a dollar, this, this is a pretty good deal. I don't know if it will last. If you guys have any experience with it, you're gonna have to let me know if it worked for you. And then it has a little off switch here on the back, which is good in case you don't wanna hear that noise all the time. Next up, I have the building brick boxes, which have been, like I said, all the rage on Instagram. I'm pretty sure these are gonna work because all of the other brand of these, they're called Make It blocks work and they are compatible with Lego but I thought we'd just open it up to show you guys. They come with a blue red lid or a red lid. Inside it's supposed to be a divided container. First of all I love the size of these. They're just a perfect pencil box size and they're stackable. Man that's on there good. The only thing I did not like is that these don't have like a closing snap or something but they do fit on there pretty snugly so I'm kind of pleased with that. So inside as you saw 
we have divided containers. So this is where you can divide by colors or put your different pieces in here. And they're pretty deep. You could fit up quite a bit. So that we love. And then this we love because you can build right on top if you wanted to. And so I had some real brand Legos here. So these are the real ones to see if they actually stick on here. Testing them out. You can also get this brand generic blocks at Dollar Tree 2 in different colored packages. Or you can get the multi-pack. And these are staying, you guys. These are working. So they are compatible with the Lego brand. In fact, I don't even know if I can get off. There we go. So if you have Lego, these will work. If you have the generic ones, they'll work too. And then you can store them right inside. Huge thumbs up on these, you guys. These are amazing. You can even get a couple of them here and put them all together and have a whole land. Love that. And then they also have the plain plates at Dollar Tree. So really it's a score. And then another new find are these little sports plates so this one that i got is the basketball court i thought it'd be so cute to have this and to put little mini figures on here i didn't grab any mini figures to test it but i'm going to test the regular lego bricks and they do snap on there pretty well so you could do a whole basketball court game they had football i think they had like a softball one and it's just a kind of neat way to have a little lego scene if you're going to do like a basketball court or something so this is another score these are all a dollar each so thumbs up so update on our glue the metallic hasn't fully dried yet but it does look pretty cool i like the shimmer in it we took the yellow one out into the sun and it changes right away but it changes back pretty quickly too and it varies in color depending on what stage it's changing but it's it changes pretty fast so it actually works too these are both going to be given a thumbs up if you like these win or fail videos i'm going to put another one up here on screen so you can go check it out and i will see you over in that video you guys click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love